So big reason why I have so much television on tape and share it on my channel, Cleveland Live Music, is because I was on the road for a quarter century. So I'd always have, in the pre-DVR days, I had VCRs set up to record stuff. And that's really where all my you know TV archives came from. I uh, have never had more more requests to post a video than for this pilot episode of this failed series and this one. It's, uh, I posted the, the intro because I saw Don Cheadle talking about the show on television and uh, I knew I had it. So... People begged for it. I'm hoping that Andy Borowitz, the uh, executive producer, the fact that he was four years ahead of me at Shaker, gets me off of any trouble if, you know, I get in trouble from YouTube or whoever owns this show that nobody's seen, everybody wants to see. So you're going to see Don Cheadle in the pilot episode of In the House which is a spin-off show of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, starring that... Ow! Stop it! Will, stop it! So the Fresh Prince, you know, is one of my favorite yeah. shows. You were going to do a spin-off of it? Uh, the producers came to me and said, we want to do a show uh, for you mm -hmm. that will be right on after the Fresh Prince. And we developed it, and we actually shot the pilot. Mm -hmm. So the show never went on the air, but it was going to air right after the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It would have been a whole different. Who knows what would have happened? Mm -hmm. so this is my you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some folks they say there's only one way to live your life. Live your life. Sing it, children. Hustling and bustling and tussling ain't nothing but strife. Imitation is really coming along. <laughs> so, hey, when's your boy getting here? In a minute. <laughs> My son, a college graduate. Did I tell you he made the dean's list? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> I get it. Hey, hey, you ain't home. Use a coaster. Ah, Roxy, damn man, have my sister get you something to drink. Charlotte, the Kendall girls are here. Oh, Roxy, Derek is gonna be so surprised when he gets a look at you. Thank you. Why, when Derek went away to college, you were just a scrawny little thing with big old thick glasses and big buck teeth like a rabbit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh-huh, and you used to wear those big old corrective shoes, and you, oh, and you go walking down the street flapping Say, Roxy, when was the last time you saw Derek? It's been pretty long. Well, let me show you this new picture of him. <laughs> Here you go. Right as it appears in the Tuskegee University yearbook. Clean, cut, straight as an arrow. <laughs> Did I tell you all these companies want to make him a big executive? Oh, God, that's the cap. Oh, God, everybody, hide! Hide, 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 Sure, it's great to see all of y'all. I'm in on Charlotte. Oh, hey, man, look at you. Pa! <laughs> wow. Man, 
it sure is great to be back in the neighbor. Neighbor, neighbor, hello. Hi, Derek. Roxy, what you been doing for the last four years? I've been bettering myself. Baby, I think you done. You remember my little sister? Her younger, prettier sister. Oh, Daphne, girl, look at you. You just shut right up. Mm, mm, mm. Milk does a body good, huh? Oh, you like Queen Latifah? Well, check this out. Don't make me wait. Hey, Ike, is that how you made the Dean's list? <laughs> All right, out of my house. Oh, out, out. Oh, oh. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, come on. Everybody out. Everybody out. Let's go. Uh, Ike, everybody just got here. It's a surprise party. We surprised them. What the hell more do we have to do? <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Call them. Hey, 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 you. Leave that bag of pretzels. It ain't open. <laughs> That was a great party, Pop. Fast, too. Paul, well, what did you do to your hair? Nothing. I'm just excited to see you. <laughs> How are you going to go to a job interview looking like that? Oh, wait, is that what you all upset about? Yes. Pop, you thought I was going to go to a job interview looking like this? Yes. Pop, I'm not a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, son. Yeah. I ain't going to no job interview. Have a seat. <laughs> Young man, I'd like for you to meet my son. Derek, this is Mr. Hare. Pop, this is really... Shh. I'm talking to my son. <laughs> so, Derek, what are your plans for tomorrow? What? A job interview? Well, at least college wasn't wasted on you. <laughs> Pop, look, I don't blame you for being surprised, but you know what I love about you? You're the type of person that when somebody presents you with a brilliant plan, you jump right on that old bandwagon and you say, Yahoo! You, you say, Yahoo! Cut to the chase, Derek. Okay, look, I've been working with this friend of mine from school, Dave Collins, all right? He is a genius, and we're gonna start our own company. Pop, I'm gonna be my own boss. Yahoo! <laughs> But what is this nonsense about you not working? I want to work. I want to work very hard. Now, now, look at what's going on here in Detroit, all right? All the big companies are moving out. People are unemployed all over the place. Now, that's why I came back to the neighborhood. I want to start a company and build something for this community. Give something back. Yahoo! <laughs> a job is hard to come by, and you're one of the lucky people that can get one. Oh! Now, be reasonable. This is the first time in his life he can follow his dream. Let him try. Let me try. <laughs> now, take me for an example. I could have been a professional singer. Oh, yes, you know, Motown was interested. You see, Gladys Knight, she was angry with the pips, and she was threatening to leave, and, of course, I was the obvious replacement. <laughs> so what happened? Well, when I went to the interview with Mr. Barry Garner, I hit notes so high, I broke all the windows in his office. <laughs> and Barry Garner, he said to me, he said, Honey, I love the voice, but I can't afford the glass. <laughs> Pop, she makes a good point, though. What about Barry Gordy? What, the... what if his father had said, No, you can't start your own company. You got to get a job pushing a pencil. We, we would have never had the Temptations or the Supremes. Or Stevie Wonder. Very superstitious. Derek. <laughs> right hands on the wall. <laughs> sorry. So you don't intend to go to any of these job interviews? I'm sorry, Pop, but, you know, I've given this a lot of thought. All right. <laughs> All right. You owe me $31,000. <laughs> What, what, what did you say? You a business major, add it up. <laughs> you know, it wasn't easy sending you to college on a carpenter's salary, so you owe me $31,000. Pop, how am I supposed to come up with that kind of money? Yeah, why don't you just ask your boss for it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're your own boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Derek Collins! Look, 
I've just invented our company's first product. This is gonna put us on the map, okay? Run it. What are the two biggest trends in America today? Tell me. Exercise and having babies. I'm with it. Okay. Woman has a baby. What does she get? Big fat butt. Exactly. Woman wants to get rid of big fat butt, but every time she tries to exercise, baby starts crying. Oh, go, go. So, I invented. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but a by baby. Man, this looks great, Collins. Pretend this is a baby. You take a nap now, baby. Mama's gonna work on her big fat butt. Hey, hey! Unbelievable! Baby's asleep and where'd that butt go? Now, a real baby wouldn't fly that far. Well, this is a great start, Collins, but we got an itty bitty little problem here. What's up? My dad hates the idea of this company, man. He's making me go to a job interview tomorrow. Hey, man, you're an adult. He can't make you do anything. Yeah, I know, but he's my father, man. I love him. I feel like I gotta do this for him. Well, good luck. I've been on one job interview my whole life, and I didn't get the job. Why not? Well, they said it was flaky, disruptive, childish. Collins, that's it, man. That's the solution. So I asked my secretary to send in Fortune magazine, and she sends in Forbes. So what did you do? I fired her! Miss <laughs> <laughs> Kaplan, send in the next applicant. Hi, I'm Chef Greener. You must be Derek Bradshaw. Very pleased to meet you, sir. Let's get this started. Great! What do you consider your strengths? Well, I'm very good with numbers. I, I have sort of a flair for marketing. And, oh, of course, there's my x-ray vision. <laughs> OK. What are your career goals? Well, in two years, I'd like to be the vice president of the marketing division. And in five years, I would like to be Neptuna, <laughs> god of Atlantis. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> he was on the dean's list. <laughs> he had a 4.0 grade average. <laughs> oh, I get it. Y you do? Yeah, what a shrewd way to package yourself. Oh, stand out from the rest of the crowd. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever, Derek. We like original thinkers in this company. We like original thinkers in this company. We like original thinkers in this company. <laughs> Look, man, it, this ain't no package, all right? I'm the real deal. The real deal. I like that. I like that a lot. It would be a great catchphrase for the 92 Volcano Turbo Wagon. Oh, wait up, guys. Derek? You've been here two minutes, and you already come up with a brilliant ad campaign. You're just the kind of young Turk this company needs. Of course, in Chap's case, when he got here, he was more like a young turkey. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 you guys, you guys, you've been very nice to me, all right? But I, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not the guy you're looking for, all right? I'm gonna start my own company. I just can't be no tool for the man. Tool for the man. The 92 Volcano, the tool for the man. You're two for two, Bradshaw. You're hired. Oh, I'm hating my job. I'm hating my boss. I'm hating my job. I'm hating it all. 
Hey, Roxy, how you doing? Fine. They delivered your mail to our house again. Oh, thanks. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> why don't you uh, stick around for a little bit, you know? I mean, since I got this new job, I've hardly had any time to talk to you. I figured we could, you know, get a little reacquainted. Oh, suddenly you care? What's that supposed to mean? Please. In high school, you never even noticed me. Yeah, but in the last four years, you've gotten a lot more noticeable. <laughs> well, I may look different, Derek, but I'm still the same person. Nothing else has changed. Well, I don't know. You sure do walk a lot more quietly. That's <laughs> Chill, Roxy. I'm just playing with you, man. Come on, everybody had the little awkward phase. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. God knows you did. S excuse me? I seem to remember you hitting a growth spurt around about eighth grade. You were walking around with those high waters on and those ashy ankles showing. <laughs> uh, get out my house. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on, don't be sensitive. You look okay now. Except for that suit. Look, Roxy, I ain't wearing this by choice. That's what I don't like about it. Derek, in high school, you did things your way. You did stuff the rest of us would have never been able to do. Remember? You got one of the Jacksons to play at our school dance. Yeah, well, in all fairness, it was Tito. <laughs> but still, I used to look at you and say, <clears throat> that boy's going to be able to do whatever he wants. So why are you doing what your father wants? Hey, Roxy. Yes, sir. Hey, Pop. How you doing, Mr. Bradshaw? I'm going to get out of your way. I know you two have something to talk about. Later, Derek. So what do you want to talk about? I've given this job a week, and I've decided it is not for me. A whole week? <laughs> Five whole days? <laughs> Mr. Workaholic. You mean to tell me you want to quit after just one week? Pops, you have not met the three stooges that I'm working for. I've worked for some pretty awful people in my time. I'm telling you, Pop, if you met my boss, Shep, you'd see what a jerk he was in just two minutes. Yeah? Well, I'd love to meet him. Tell you what, tonight's poker night. Why don't you invite him over? You know, that's a great idea. I didn't see nearly enough of him today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you just get him over here, and I'll teach you something you didn't learn in college. If you try... You can get along with anybody. Okay. Okay, you wanna play like that? All right. <laughs> Collins, that wig looks... You got kind of a Burt Reynolds thing going on up there, huh? I'm a little nervous about this whole thing here. Look, my pop ain't never met you. He's never met my boss, so why shouldn't he think you're my boss? Okay. Okay, now just remember to do everything we talked about, and above all, never use a coaster. What's a coaster? <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! <laughs> Gentlemen, here's to a great night of poker. I'm um, for that. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey. Mm -mm. All right, gentlemen. Dollar in it. Let's play some poker. The two of clubs and the three of diamonds are wild. <laughs> you can't do that. Uh, actually, I think the host decides the rules. Pop. <laughs> well, in the spirit of getting along with others, we always try to accommodate our guests. All right, then. The four of spades and the seven of hearts are wild, too. <laughs> Money, 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 money! You wanna take this boy outside? I'll hold him down. Whoa! I've got to use the phone. Local call. <laughs> mushy mush. Young dad on it. Hunty? Bradshaw. So that's car. So. Hey. 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 Bradshaw. 
Uh, yes? Remember that marketing report I told you to send to Tokyo? Yes. Well, they didn't seem to get it, but I sent it to them. Look! I gave you a simple task. A fourth grader could have done it. And you have the nerve to call yourself a professional. You are an incompetent chowderhead. You are never hey, going hey, to hey. Eat the to to a boy like that. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'm not his boss. I'm his buddy. Collins. <laughs> Charlotte. Hi, baby. Your father sure was yelling up there. Yelling? At one point, he opened his mouth so wide, I could see that little punching bag in the back of his throat. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Uh, uh, now, Derek, you owe him an apology. Lying to your father is just plain wrong. It can only end badly. Well, I remember once I lied to my father. He put me on punishment for a whole week, and I regret it to this day. Why? Because that was the week I was supposed to go out with Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Honey, I could have really changed that boy's life. Pop, look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have tried to run that stupid scam on you. Why did you feel like you had to trick me? Pop, because every time I told you what I wanted to do with my life, you just shut me down. And then when I, I do told not you... shut people down. Look, Derek, you made a jackass out of me in front of my buddies. I mean, here I was telling them what a great job you had, telling them that you were on your way to the top, telling well, them see, that Pop, you... hold up. My life is not some trophy for you to show off to your friends. Now, I should be able to do what I want to do. You're an adult now. That means putting your wants on hold and doing what you should do. Why, because you made that mistake? I didn't make any mistakes. Are you sure about that, Pop? Look, I've seen boxes and boxes full of watercolors you did. Now, when you were my age, you were really good. You could have been an artist, but you didn't have a guts to go for it. No, Derek, when I was your age, I had you. There were, there were other things going on. Look, you shouldn't talk about things you don't know about. Pop. I know how hard you worked to send me to college. And I'm not expecting a free ride from you now. I'm going to pay you rent, and I'm going to pay you back for college. But, Pop, I really need for you to believe in me. You know, ever since you were a little kid, everything you set your mind to, you did. I'm not going to stand in your way now. Thanks, Pop. Hey, thanks for understanding. Oh, I don't understand. I still think what you're doing is risky. You just wore me out. I got my health to think about. <laughs> no, I'm too young to be this old. Good night. Good night, Pop. Hey. I'm really glad I'm back here. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Ooh, look out. Next, George Papard and Ursula Andres star in Man Against the Mob, The Chinatown Murders. And Wednesday night, matchmaker, matchmaker, make bull a match. It's love, night court style. Then, Jerry moved to a new night. Now he's moving out of his apartment. Seinfeld's been robbed. Wednesday night. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. 
and there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Thanks for making the channel grow so much.